Hello, ye developers. Uh, in the last lesson, I covered the searching of another table. Uh, here we can search with the company name in the browser section. So today I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna create a module uh, since I got this request a lot, uh, how to create modules in G2. So it not, it's not really that difficult, it's really simple. So let's move on to the G module and click on the module generator. Here, we have to give a module a class. So, since we are in the back end and we want to create the module in the back end, we have to say back end. Give it the namespace of back end. And we want to create a folder called modules. And let's call that module. Then, in the modules folder, we are going to give create. The modules that we want so let's create a call module called settings for now and give it the class of settings okay so the module id is simple you can say module id is settings so let's preview this and right now you can see that they're going to generate a modules folder in the back end and there's going they're going to generate a settings folder that is our module id and they're going to create the settings.php inside that. So let's run this. Oops. Uh, so let me, there is this permission error. Hold on, let me go add the permissions. Uh, uh, CD advanced, we are in the advanced folder and go to the back end and yeah let's list directories now you can see there is no modules directory here so let me create a module directory make directory modules there you go there's we have the modules directory and give it right version so sudo modules and yeah we have created a modules directory and given it permissions so we have given the modules for the permissions uh, so let's preview this again and generate okay we have successfully generated modules now you have you can see that they we have to tell the ye application that we have created a settings module called settings so and he, the direct the class path of it so let's copy this right here and let's move on to the back end mod uh, config file and main.php here you will get a modules array so to this modules array we are going to pass the newly generated module there you go now we have a call, module call now the application knows that we have a module called settings so to access the module we have to go to uh, r equals the module name settings as you can see the settings default index this is content action index of the settings module settings module so let's go check a look at the files we have created so let's go to the modules and settings we have a controller a default controller a view a views file and a settings file okay so now uh, for example let's say that you want to generate a CRUD application in the modules section all you need to do is go to the G tool again uh, create the model uh, if you want to create it within the module uh, settings section then of course create uh, give it let's we have companies right now uh, I hope you remember that we have a companies table so let's use that again uh, I can't I don't can't be bothered to create another table so let's go to companies and give it companies and here is where we change the path namespace so backend 
we want to go to the modules and we have to go on to go to the settings and in the mod and in the model section please create so let's preview so like we say like we want we have module settings models companies so let me generate the code will be generated so we will have a model inside the settings module there you go you can do the same with the cloud application as well uh, i hope i don't have to <laughs> okay let me show so in the class we have to say backend uh, modules settings and the name of the model class companies same backend uh, modules settings and companies search and the controller is same as before backend backend controllers nops not controllers modules then settings then controllers and then the control class of companies controller let's preview and let's oh it says backend modules settings companies does not exist backend modules did you spell that right modules modules settings settings models oh sorry I hope you guys saw this so models and here also we have to go to settings and then to the models folder and then company search okay okay so view file now it's generating the view file in the normal view section we don't want that we want to change that as well so let's put the module id here and preview again now we get it right now we have the views file in the module setting in the settings module as well okay good let's generate okay we have successfully generated now let's go see settings settings module and we go to the we have companies controller so companies settings views companies index dot this file does not exist hmm why is that let's go to g tool again model class is backend module settings companies backend module settings company search backend module settings controllers it's preview why didn't it get created in the first place hmm. let's check whether we have the files oh now we have it okay so let's go to settings and companies so there you go uh, you have a modules we have a cart uh, now we have a module in the yay application uh, now you know how to create modules in yay too so yeah that's it for this lesson uh, i'll talk to you uh, stay tuned for the next lesson please subscribe share my tutorials and like them yeah and comment everything you have to say about them thank you very much have a good day bye